Hey guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and it's Sunday night and we're gonna do some crafting. I've been wanting to do this project for some time now and today was the day to get it done. We are going to make felted dryer balls. What is that you ask? We're gonna take some wool and we're gonna felt it, meaning we're gonna agitate it in hot water. And what that does is it creates felt. Now this is felted wool. It's a little different than the felt that you'd buy at the store because I think that's synthetic at this point. But this is actual wool. I bought this, but it's been felted. And what it does is it shrinks. Have you ever seen that like funny videos where somebody threw a wool sweater in the dryer and it came out the bar size of a Barbie sweater? Very similar to that. That's the premise we're dealing with. We're using 100% virgin wool. Um, there's a couple ways you could do this. One, which is the way I'm doing it and I think is the easiest way. This is called uh, Lion Brand Yarn Fisherman's Wool. It's readily available at Joanne Fabric. I went and got it tonight. They have a couple different colors. Um, this is 100 grams, I think it is. No, this is 227 grams. It's 465 yards and it was $12.99 regular. I had a 50% off coupon. So with tax, I paid $6.95. As you can see, I've already started making some of the balls. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to get maybe six out of one skein, which is great because I want to gift these to some of my family members. And I thought this is perfect. So you'll need some wool. Now, if you don't want to use that kind of wool, <laughs> You know, I'm a knitter. I went to the yarn show today and I got some of this, which is felting wool. Um, you use this and a pokey tool and you can create these little thingies. This is also felted. But this is a different kind of felting. This is agitating it, but with a needle and not with hot water. So you can get felting all different ways. I bought a kit. Um... So that's one way to do it. You can also, if you had some of this, it's just raw wool. If you had some raw wool, you could utilize it with this technique. There's a hundred ways to do it. Check the interwebs. But the way we're going to do it is with this yarn. Um, there's another brand. It's called Patton Yarn. It comes with a smaller skein and it's $7.99. But again, if you get a coupon. What you're looking for is 100% pure virgin wool or new wool not anything with any acrylic in it and nothing that's called superwash. So what you are looking for, and I just recommend this brand. Hope you can see that. It just says, oh, here it is. 100% new or um, raw wool. It's virgin wool. It has not been processed. This is probably the color it came off the sheep. I would have to guess. Um, so you need your yarn. A pair of scissors. I use my knitting sewing scissors for this project. You want some pantyhose or knee highs. I went to the Dollar Tree. If anybody's surprised, please let me know. And they come with two pairs. So I get four pantyhose, which would do 12 to 14, 12 to 16 dryer balls, depending on the size that you're creating. So you need a package of those. Um, some twine of some sort. You don't want to use the wool to tie it off because it'll felt on there and you'll have a hard time getting it off. So you want, I'm using twine. You can use acrylic yarn, string, any kind of, but just not the undyed wool or just the, the raw wool. And then the last thing you'll need is one of these tapestry needles. They come plastic. They're super cheap. It's just a really big eyed needle because we're going to get the yarn through. And then we're going to create and we're going to have some tea. In my Dollar Tree snowman mug. Oh, and you're going to want some type of a tape measure. Again, I'm, I'm a knitter. I have these things on hand. Um, you want a flexible one. If you don't have a flexible one, no worries. You could measure off a 12 inch, 10 inch, whatever inch piece of twine on your sturdier one and cut it. Or if you don't even want to measure, you just know you want it to be this big around, you make one ball, oh, I want that size. Take your twine around it or your string and cut it to fit so you just know if you want them all the same 
ish size. They won't all be exactly the same, but they'll be close. I've already created a couple. Oh, getting things out of our way here, guys. I'm a mess. And um, this is what I keep my tapestry needle on is my knitting notions pouch because I use it a lot for knitting. Okay, I'm going to, you know the drill, flip you around, show you what I'm doing. Um, this is going to be a multi-part video only because I'm, it's seven o'clock. I'm not doing laundry tonight and it will require laundry. The washing machine, I should say. Um, so you'll see that you'll see it right after I will probably be wearing something different. It'll be like Tuesday night and I gotta wash my towels. I mean, that's just what we're going to wait on is a hot cause you need hot water. So we're going to wait for a day that I need to wash some towels. That's pretty much the only thing I wash in hot water. And you want really hot water. I'm wondering, I should research to see if there's a way to do it without your washing machine, but you really want that agitation. But I'm moving ahead here, guys. So let's create the balls. One moment. We're here. So we'll get some stuff out of the way. I'll just have all my materials here. Step one is you want to find the end of your yarn. Now you can work from the outside. That's fine. I work from the inside. And the way to find that is if you have this picture facing you and you reach into here and you pull out the yarn bar, if it's a wad of yarn, that's your end that's in the middle. Because if not, this will be flopping all over the place, rolling around. So I've already, obviously I've already made several balls. You wanna keep your scissors handy and your needle handy. I will set mine right here. So to start, if you've ever balled up yarn, that's what you're doing. But if you haven't, take your two fingers. It does not matter how wide. You just need to start it. So you're wrapping it around your finger for a little bit. You take it off, and then you're going to go this way, crossways. Now, I just bend this in half. You're getting into a circle. That's what you're wanting. I made mine at nine inches. So then you're just building it up here. And you don't want it too tight. You don't want it too loose either, but definitely you don't have to like be pulling on this. So you just keep building it up. At the beginning, you're going, you're turning it in all different directions. You're just going to try really hard to start it into the circle, into the ball, because that's what you're going to, oh, sorry, I didn't realize I'm shaking the camera. You want to do that, and then you just turn it, um you know, different directions. You're going to see some hairs in here. You may see some veg, you know, if there's like hay or something, because this is pretty rough. It's not rough, too rough, but it definitely is raw wool. It hasn't been processed. Um, some yarn is called superwash where they've done a chemical treatment to it. It will not felt, which is why it's great because you can wash your sweaters, your socks, your whatever, um, but that's not what we want in this application. And the great thing is this yarn is, a, you know, like I said, you can just buy it at Joanne and you could stock up if you have a coupon. Like today, this was not on sale. So I used a 50% off Michael's coupon actually, because Joanne didn't have any today. And I picked this up. So we're just gonna keep doing this until it reaches nine inches. That's what I decided mine are, are gonna be. Once it hits nine inches, you just cut the thread. So I'll show you what I mean by nine inches, not nine inches deep around. So you take your measuring tape, your yarn, your string, your whatever, and you want it to match. You want it to line up at the nine inch mark, which mine does, because here's your nine inch mark. Again, it's not exact science here. And you're going to feel it squishy. You're going to have this tail to deal with. And you really just, you do not want to just let it run amok you need to tie, to tie it in. So what I do is I just take it, bend it in half. However, you can get it into this eye. I wouldn't recommend like licking it like I do yarn because it's wool and you'll get fiber in your mouth. So, oh, oh, I have this weird loopy thingy here, which I don't want. So I'm gonna unwrap this to get to that weird loopy thing um, because I don't know how it will felt. So you just, you know, just want it to be nice. Okay, so I'm here. 
I'm back to my yarn and I'm burying it. And all I'm doing, you just leave yourself a little tail, is I'm shoving it in somewhere and pulling it out. That's it. You're just and you just keep doing it. You really want to lock it in place. So, and again, it doesn't have to be too tight. If you see something funny and you want to pin it down, you can. So I've, you know, I have fairly decently buried this. I'm shoving it through the last time, and that's all you're doing. It's not even hard. I'm pulling it out. Slide the needle off, and you gotta push your needle back because let me tell you, you don't a you don't want to step on one of those things, and b I forever am losing them. So I keep buying more. And this little piece here, you just take it and trim it off. And that's just your little bit of waste. Um, nothing major. So you have this ball, which is nine inches around. You can make them bigger. You can make them smaller. You can do one and felt it and see how much shrinkage you get and see if you want them bigger. I saw one lady that made them like 11 inches, but I feel like that's really big. Anywho. So you have your ball now, you've buried your yarn, and you have your knee-high sock that I don't know that anybody still wears these, but whatever. I'm glad the Dollar Tree has them. And you are sticking them into the nylon because it's nylon. A, it's not going to felt to your ball. It's not going to melt to your ball. The water will freely get through it and agitate it, but it holds it in the shape that you want it to be held in, right? That's important. So what I would do is start here at this end. I just cut off some, I think they're a little big, um, cut off some string. Again, I don't, I don't want to use anything wool or that will melt. So this is just some twine. It's fine. And what I will do off camera later is wind up the rest of this. Um, if I'm going to do it, you see, you want to tighten it between. You're making like candy. If I'm going to go through the effort of felting, I want to felt, you know, as many as I can get through the wash. And then you're going to tie this one here. Because you can, um, these are going to go through the washer once or twice in on hot water. And then they're going to go into the dryer. And then once that happens, they'll be felted. And then you just utilize them in your dryer. So now you see how they're in here. They're not going to um, fall out. They're not going to come unraveled or fall apart. And that's the point, to keep them in this ball shape. So now we have this step done. Um, I'll trim these off. And then the next step is going to be washing them and drying them in this nylon. You're not going, I'm not gonna cut that off. You're not gonna take them out of here. And you could really have gotten a fourth one in this knee high, that's why I said, it just depends how big you make the ball. But So that's where we're at right now. Once I'm ready to do some laundry later in the week, I will bring you along and show you how we wash them and then how we dry them and then how to use them. All right, we'll be back. It is time. So I got about seven balls. One of them is really tiny. <laughs> so say you can get six balls, throw them in the wash. I'm doing it on um, washing two rugs. Now I have a AG, so I'm gonna have it on bulky. No fabric softener. I don't need extended rinse, um, but I want it on hot. And we're gonna do this two to three times. This is the first wash. Um, I'll wash the rugs twice because they need it and then I'll get some towels and switch it out. And then it goes in the dryer and it'll probably go through one or two dryer loads just to um, make sure. So I will let you see them when they come out of the dryer. Okay, I'm back and I have finished the dryer balls. <laughs> They're a mess. Um, I washed them with um, rugs, so they're just kind of a mess. But that's what you want to, to felt wool, wet felt is what this is called. You want hot water and agitation. So this took two spins through the washing machine and two spins through the dryer or how long it took the rugs to dry, which was two, 
complete cycles of my dryer. It took that long for it to dry. So let's see what we got. And all I'm going to do, you could try to save these pantyhose, but honestly, they're so cheap. <gasps> Guys, look. So what happens is the yarn felts itself together and it sticks. It sticks together. So it like melts into each other. The fibers lock together. And that is a dryer ball. And they did not lose really any size that I, I don't feel like they shrunk in any way. Now there might be some spots that aren't completely felted, but the more times you run these through the dryer, it's just going to get more fused and more fused. So there's one. I have two. See, I didn't do a very good job measuring the sizes, which I thought I did, but they don't have to be perfect. Please, nothing I do is perfect. <gasps> So these are about the same size. So when I gift them, I need to buy some more yarn and just do a couple more of these um, sets. I also would like to get some essential oils. So what you can do is um, if you really like your dryer sheets, you know, for the scent, you can put a few drops of essential oils on these before you stick them in the dryer and they will help. Now like this one here is not perfect. It's fine. It's fine. It will fuse. It don't worry if it's a lift, if it's lifted a little bit or whatever. The more, like I said, the more times these go through the dryer, they will fuse up. I'm just popping them all out of their pantyhose. Here's finally a use for pantyhose because I have no use in my life for them. Um, yep. Yeah, so look. Oh, I'm super excited. Now some of them, like I said. You know, they may have a little string lifted here and there, but they're, these are awesome. I'm super excited. Um, now, the Fisherman's Wool only comes in natural colors. So here's one set of three, and these are almost all the same size. And then here is another set of three that are not the same size, so I'll keep those for me. And then I have this little tiny extra one that I'm actually going to make a gnome out of. This is going to just be the body for my gnome and I will dry felt the hat and his little furry face and probably hang him, make a hanging gnome out of that one. So if you were better at measuring your yarn balls than I am, you could probably get six even size balls and probably the best way to do it would be to weigh it. If you have a scale that does grams, you can get it to the point where you think it's the same size, put it on the scale, and if it's, you know, close. It's not necessary, to be honest with you. But I just think this would be a perfect Christmas gift, a set of three. And I think three is good to put in your dryer. Um, now, the benefit to dryer balls over dryer sheets. Dryer sheets will leave a film inside your dryer. They're not great for the mechanics. Um, the wool absorbs moisture and will make your clothes more soft and they will dry a little faster because the these balls are um, keeping everything kind of moving now they're not solid i mean i can squish them um so yeah i hope that was a fun tutorial for you i think these would make great christmas gifts especially if you have somebody in your life who's trying to um, use less commercial products these would be perfect with a little ball of essential oil or a little ball of essential oil. Something neutral like lavender, maybe citrus. Just be careful if they have children because you don't know. But I'm assuming they would know. But yeah, there they are. My wool dryer balls. Thank you guys for watching and you have a good day. Bye.